Hi, Jeffrey Antonio Cabias here and you're watching the significance of old school technology. This is the second part of Plan Dialog Box series where you could learn the power of control panel applications. Legacy control panel on latest version of Microsoft Windows operating system could soon be hidden in favor of new setting up. As one of many advanced users worldwide, I prefer to use legacy control panel with the traditional style icon and expansive settings options. With so many operating systems I've used, I feel that there's a significant change in the latest version of Microsoft Windows operating system because Microsoft could be planning to hide the legacy control panel in future versions of Microsoft Windows 10. So for me, this screencast will be the solution for shortcut lovers. Control Panel It is used to change the settings for Windows. These settings control nearly everything about how Windows looks and works and they allow you to set up Windows so that it is just right for you. Administrative Tools It is a folder in Control Panel that contains tools for system administrators and advanced users. The tools in the folder might vary depending on which version of Windows you are using. Many of the tools in this folder are Microsoft Management Console snap-ins that include in their own help topics. To view specific help for an MMC tool, or to search for an MMC snap-in that you don't see in the following list. Open the tool, click the help menu, and then click help topics. CPL is a file extension designed for control panel item, while MSC is designed for Microsoft Common Console document. In this video, I'll show you how to launch control panel items and administrative tools using Run Dialog Box.
That's all for today. Consider this channel as part of your learning journey. May God bless us all. Keep safe and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.